What is up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to record your iPhone screen with the Elgato Game Capture HD. Let's get started. Alright, so before we get started there are a few things you're going to need for this to work. First off, you're going to need the Elgato Game Capture HD. Secondly, you'll need either an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. And then lastly, you're going to need a Lightning Digital AV Adapter. Basically, this is going to allow you to connect an HDMI cable to one end and then the other end to your iOS device. Now, if you don't have an Elgato or you don't have the AV Adapter, I've linked you to both of them in the description down below. And although these are two fairly expensive items, it is going to give you the best quality you could get while recording your iOS device. Alongside these items, you'll also need a USB cable, which is provided with the Elgato, and an HD cable, which again is also provided with the Elgato. On top of that, you'll need either a Mac or a PC. We're going to be using the software provided with the Elgato Game Capture HD to record our gameplay. So now let's get started. We'll connect everything together, and then we'll set it up on the computer. Now connecting the cables is pretty simple. We'll start by connecting our HDMI cable to the HDMI in port. We'll then plug the small end of our USB to the other end of the Elgato Game Capture HD. Then we'll go ahead and plug in the HDMI cable to the AV adapter. Now, I forgot to mention, if you have an older iOS device that still uses a 30-pin adapter, you can actually pick up one of these AV adapters that works with the 30-pin. So I'll link you to that in the description down below as well. Next, we'll go ahead and plug in our USB cable to our computer, and then we'll finally plug in our iOS device to the AV adapter. Pretty simple, and now we're all connected. All right, so what we're looking at right here is the Game Capture HD software on my computer. This again comes with the Elgato. And what you want to do first before you start playing around with the software is make sure your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch is unlocked so you can see the screen and control it. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and look in the settings tab here. Now mine was set to PlayStation 3 because I was doing some recordings. You should be prompted with this screen right here. And if you're not, select either the blue settings tab here or on the right in the device section, select the little hammer with the wrench and it'll bring up this section here. Now what we're going to do from here is select our input device. So you want to make sure you're on your iPad, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S or older, or if you're using an iPod Touch, you can select other. I'm using the iPhone 5S. I tested it with the iPhone 5 section. It worked, but I'm going to go ahead and select other just to be on the safe side. Next, we're going to select our input. So obviously we want HDMI selected, so make sure that's selected. For HDMI color range, you can choose standard or expanded. It's up to you. For the profile, you want to select either 720 or 1080, depending on your computer. If your computer is fast enough to handle 1080, go for it. Just understand it's going to be a larger file size. It's going to be a little bit more work to render it all, and it's going to take a little bit more time to pretty much get it as a complete file. So it's up to you. Select 720 or 1080. I'm going to select 1080 and then in the quality section you can choose from good all the way to best and if you're using 1080 chances are you want the best quality so again this is going to be determined by how fast your computer is and what it can handle next we'll select a few of these settings right here if you just hover your mouse over it, it'll give you a little description of what each of them is and what they do I'm just going to select the top one and the bottom one and uh, it should just allow me to get a little bit more size out of my screen here and then we're pretty much done, so we can hit OK. And now you can see my iPhone screen. And basically, I can just swipe across on my actual iPhone, and you can see that I can control it now with my iPhone. So if I go into a game here, we'll just go into Perfect Kick. I can go ahead and play this game. The sound is coming from my computer now rather than my iPhone. I'm able to basically record this. If I go down to the bottom here and select Record, it'll record the gameplay. And basically, everything I do in terms of talking will come through my microphone. You could set that up as well to have live commentary right here, internal microphone. You can choose the line in. You can select automatically reduce the game sound. You can go into these settings and get even more in depth of how they sound. Now, when you finish recording, you can just stop the recording right there. 
and you can have an editor as well built into this so if you select edit at the top right you can see that you can cut out a whole bunch of different things here so if you didn't want a certain section you can clip it out just by hitting the scissors move it over there hit the scissors again take that section here trash it now it's just going to jump across from that one section to the other so if you have like a little mistake in what you're saying you can cut that out now you can also put this in your movies file you can set it to iMovie you can send it to YouTube personally I like to take this out save it as a movie file and then cut it up and edit it in another editing software but it's totally up to you you can send it to Twitter all kinds of different things you can see that I have a few files here. I have my gameplay with my PlayStation 3 up here. It works really well and you're going to get the best quality out of your game capture from your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Anyway guys, that's how you record the screen of your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch using the Elgato Game Capture HD. Once again, all the links to everything you're going to need is in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, hit the like button and let me know. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll answer it as soon as it comes my way. And if you enjoyed if you enjoy videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I post them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.